Hey, good morning. Uh, I'm going to read Psalm 97, 1 through 6. It says, The Lord is king. Let the earth rejoice. Let the farthest coastlands be glad. Dark clouds surround him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire spreads ahead of him and burns up all his foes. His lightning lashes out across the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his righteousness. Every nation sees his glory. Now, I must admit that the images mentioned here in Psalm 97 aren't the ones that come to mind when I think of the Lord. When I think of God the Father and Jesus the Son, I tend to think of his forgiveness his love, his mercy, his tenderness, his amazing grace. I tend to think of God's compassion and his faithfulness. I tend to gravitate to the positive images of the Lord, and I don't really think I'm alone in that. I would suppose that most people do. We often see only what we want to see. However, the images were given in Psalm 97, they're different. It starts simply with the declaration that the Lord is king. And in verse 1, it says, we should rejoice and the farthest coastlands should be glad. But then it takes a turn. It says, dark clouds surround him. Fire spreads ahead of him, burning up all his foes. His lightning flashes across the earth, making it tremble. And the mountains melt like wax before him. I don't generally think of those things first when I think of God. Our God is loving, merciful, forgiving, and kind. But he is equally righteous judgmental, just, and vengeful. He said, vengeance is mine. He is not either or. He is both and. And we would do well to remember both aspects, both sides of our Father's character. Pray with me. God, you are loving. You are kind and you are gentle. And you are also just and holy. And you will judge the world. I pray, Lord, that we would never lose sight of these two very different aspects of your character, and yet they are who you are. And so, Lord, even as we sing of your love and your grace and your forgiveness, I pray that we would remember your holiness, righteousness, and justice as well. I pray this in Jesus' strong name. Amen. Okay, friends. Hope you have a great day. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.